market-driven. It describes IBM's aim to listen more closely to customers, to understand their businesses, and to supply the solutions they need. Many of those solutions will require specialized services and the talents and disciplines to build complex systems. Enter the Systems Integration Division. Through its branch offices, SID works closely with field marketing to identify and respond to requests for tailored solutions. The division also develops industry-wide solutions with the help of industry marketing and SID continues to apply its rich base of experience in building and delivering a wide range of solutions in the federal arena. For example, SID's development group worked with industry marketing and various IBM divisions worldwide to provide an imaging solution for United Services Automobile Association. SID and USAA jointly developed a baseline image architecture which allows for electronic interchange of documents, a common industry requirement. USAA estimates this system will save more than $4 million a year, and the company already has recovered 37,000 square feet of space devoted to storing files. SID is responsible for the system integration and testing of components for the image solution which IBM hopes to replicate for other customers who have similar requirements. USAA is the world leader in imaging. We, uh, this will be the largest image system by far. When I go to conferences or talk to people, uh, most people talk about a typical image system being half a dozen terminals and a large image system being 30 or 40 terminals. And our system will start out at 1,000 terminals and maybe 1,500. And when we add claims and the other uses, it'll add another 1,500 or 2,000 terminals. And over the next few years, we'll be at seven or 8,000 image terminals. So by far, we're way ahead of all the rest of the users in the world. SID's federal systems is responsible for federal systems integration and aerospace, including projects of high national priority. For example, SID served as the avionics integrator for the Air Force's special operations aircraft, the Combat Talon II. During 1988, SID delivered the first three Combat Talon II aircraft, and the Air Force already has begun flight testing. SID's avionics integration work provides Combat Talon II with state-of-the-art technology. The crew can fly at night, at low altitudes and in adverse weather with fewer problems. The aircraft uses IBM's advanced cockpit design, which automates many manual tasks. In fact, the Combat Talon II will need only five crew members, not the seven required for earlier missions. It's also simpler to fly. Many gauges and instruments have been replaced with seven multi-purpose displays and multi-function software enhancements. Flight and tactical information flashes on the control screens in easy to see formats. The system even provides a diagnostics function to monitor the health of the avionics and to alert the crew to any equipment faults. Working in the state and local government arena, SID's Professional Services Group was prime contractor on a project for the Baltimore Police Department. Possible work boots. He was armed with a handgun. The result? An IBM System 88-based dispatching and record management system has bolstered service to the public and made the police more productive. They receive a million nine hundred thousand calls a year in our answering service, uh, being one of the larger police departments in the country. And when a call comes into the Baltimore Police Department from a citizen who dialed nine one one, comes into the answering service, and this is manned by seventeen different operators. Uh, when the phone call comes in, the listing for that phone number, uh, as to who the phone is listed to, their address, and their telephone number appears on a little uh, screen is called an automatic location identification screen. When the Baltimore Police Department first came to us, they came to us with a problem. We had to analyze that and based upon our knowledge of how their business works, come to a conclusion as what the best solution was. 
The Baltimore Police Department Systems Integration Project is an excellent example of the IBM Corporation making it its business to deliver solutions to customers. What we did was to integrate IBM as well as non-IBM software and hardware to, to solve a problem for a customer that had been more than two years in the marketing. And I think what what really made it happen was that the account team, the systems integration division branch, worked very closely together and viewed the, the problem to be solved as their business. With that kind of cooperation and partnership, you can really accomplish anything. SID, together with the U.S. Navy, has developed a new submarine combat system called Busy One. It is the newest generation of Navy attack combat systems using technology that will carry U.S. submarines into the 21st century. In August of 1988, the USS San Juan put to sea the first submarine using the Busy One combat control system. The system integrates the navigation, sonar, and weapons system data which assist the ship commander and crew in responding to enemy threats. With Busy One, a submarine is more secure during open ocean search. It can avoid mines more safely, and it can even navigate under ice. A primary feature of the system is the fully integrated weapons launch system, which provides an expanded range of weapons. Busy One also integrates sonars and underwater communications gear into higher density packages. That means needed equipment takes less space on the ship. Busy One is truly a complex system. It weighs 32 tons and consists of 117 hardware cabinets. The system requires 11 and a half miles of wire cable to link the hardware cabinets and features over 4 million lines of IBM software code. The IBM Moline branch office turned to SID for help on a project that involves Dunn and Bradstreet and the American shopper's pursuit of a bargain. Dunn and Bradstreet wanted a more effective way to process consumer goods coupons, which it collects from retailers as a service to manufacturers. Shoppers redeem 8 billion coupons every year at supermarkets, department stores, and other retail outlets. Nearly half are processed at Dun & Bradstreet's Coupon Control Center and supporting field offices to determine such information as where and when the coupon was redeemed, the product bought, and the source of the coupons used. Dun & Bradstreet needed an automated system to increase the accuracy and speed of the massive processing job. SID and other IBM teams responded with a distributed system that serves up to 1,600 users in eight different locations, making information available to them in less than nine seconds. The system itself is going to save them a lot more money. It's a system uh, that's going to save them time in terms of how long it takes them to, to actually process coupons. And it's going to give them a completely new level of accuracy if, of their data. The major advantages of uh, uh, Leapfrog, and, uh, which is distributed data processing and local area networking, uh, are uh, speed of processing and quality of processing. Those two items are, are the two main drivers of the keys to our business. And the keys to our business are uh, speed of, of processing to optimize cash flow. And the second thing is to, to minimize the cost of, of capital, capital employed. Because if every day we have a coupon in the house, we have paid the retailer, and we have not collected from the manufacturer yet. That is our money that is tied up. The success of Operation Leapfrog, or the project that we had going with A.C. Nielsen, was largely due to IBM's commitment to A.C. Nielsen. And in that commitment, you really had a lot of divisions, a lot of different people involved in that from the branch offices in Moline, El Paso, New York City, as well as uh, Mexico City and Monterey. Uh, a, a big piece of, the, of why the project was successful was SID and SID's uh, expertise, their technical support, as well as their installation support. 
With its added ability to track shopping patterns, the system also serves as a tool to identify marketing trends and evaluate the effectiveness of sales promotion campaigns. Systems integration development work on a specific defense-related project often leads to advanced state-of-the-art technology. In May 1988, SID announced it had produced the first fully functional, first fully tested, half-micron chips for the Department of Defense. These very high-speed integrated circuit, or VISIC chips, represent state-of-the-art military microelectronics technology. The 100 megahertz fast chips have feature sizes 1 20th the thickness of a sheet of paper. VISIC technology offers tremendous improvements over present-day defense system microelectronics in reliability, performance, and the capability to be radiation hardened. VISIC is emerging as one of the key technologies for such future defense requirements as advanced architecture military signal processors. SID was first in producing VISIC technology and leads the industry in demonstrating the first application of half-micron VISIC technology. In December 1988, SID demonstrated a VISIC acoustic beamformer brass board for the Department of Defense. Beamforming is a critical function in processing sonar signals. The new half-micron brass board has 20 times the performance of beamformers currently in use. IBM is using VISIC technology in a number of other military products, including spaceborne computers and a spaceborne signal processor expected to operate at 100 million floating point operations per second. Just two months after SID announced its half micron VISIC chip, it delivered the first all VISIC common signal processor, or CSP, to the U.S. Air Force. And the following month, SID delivered two more CSP systems, this time to the Department of Defense. The common signal processor is 20 times more powerful than its predecessor. It has seven and a half million gates of logic, more than any other computer built by IBM. The CSP predecessor required cabinets five feet tall, 20 inches deep, and two feet wide. But CSP, which is highly configurable, is just larger than a briefcase. CSP consists of four sets of generic circuit modules. Data network modules, which provide multi-path communications between CSP functional elements. Functional network modules, which are the major signal processor workhorses. Element supervisor unit modules and support element modules. In advanced robotics, SID worked with the Ford Motor Company to develop a solution that could assemble dashboard instrument clusters for Ford's light trucks. IBM already had a solution that could be adapted to Ford's need. Called ALPS for Automated Logistics and Production System, it is used to assemble IBM's PC line in Austin. SID systems integration specialists, assisted by other IBM teams, modified that system for Ford. And the result is a customized production system capable of building 5,000 dashboard instrument clusters daily.
SID's responsiveness to a customer's critical need for solutions is evident in its work for the Federal Aviation Administration. The FAA's critical need was literally a matter of life and death, to keep people and aircraft as safe in the skies as human skill and technology allow. IBM has helped meet that need for more than 30 years, beginning with the first computer ever installed in an air traffic control control center, and continuing with the real-time computer systems at FAA's 20 en route control centers. That system has been the safest and most efficient of its kind in the world. But now, the next era of air traffic has arrived. Now from Channel 9, Washington's number one newscast, Eyewitness News. IBM has won a three and a half billion dollar contract to modernize the country's air traffic control system. It is the largest single contract in the history of the company. Under the contract, radar systems around the country will be completely replaced. And advanced computers will be used to reduce congestion around airports, track weather hazards, and generally increase safety. Eventually, the FAA says pilots will have monitors in their cockpits that will allow them to see exactly what the air traffic controller is seeing on his screen. Nine solutions spanning many different customers, many different industries, and requiring many different talents. Yet, they are seamlessly bound together by the people of the Systems Integration Division and their IBM partners. Building solutions, today and in the future. 12, 11, 10, we're go for main engine start. 7, 6, start, 3, 2, one, zero, and liftoff! Liftoff, Americans return to space as Discovery clears the tower. Roger all, Discovery.